I am Mr. Fancher and I teach uh, IED, which is Introduction to Engineering Design, and I teach DE, which is Digital Electronics. My name is Bobby Garcia, I teach Introduction to Engineering Design, that's a class for ninth graders. I'm Holly Davis, and I teach um, engineering and architecture here at Maynard New Tech High. I teach um, basically 10th grade, but I've got a splattering of all the other. To teach engineering in project-based instruction is actually really easy because a lot of the engineering concepts are hands-on so that you can introduce something uh, that needs to be learned and then you can explore um, either in the IED, it's exploring of how, how uh, engineers design things, or if it's digital electronics, it's how do uh, components work together in circuits and things like that. It's really easy to integrate engineering into project-based learning because a lot of the work that's done in the professional world for engineering is done in projects and managed like projects. Engineering just is projects. We're designing and building projects, so PBL, project-based learning, is just a natural fit for project-based learning. Engineering is really easy to teach. Um, people get scared to teach engineering because, um, because of the word engineering. But the hardest engineering class to teach is the digital electronics, and um, it's not that bad to teach. And the students only cry a little bit when they have to take it. Is engineering easy or hard to teach? It's very hard, but it's very fun. I think it's fun to teach. It's, at times it's easy, at times it's hard. Okay, A lot of times some of the principles that um, the kids need to learn in the engineering classes are a little more complicated, but um, it's, it's fun to teach. Engineering is fun because you get to do a lot with your hands and, and play with things. And it's really important because later on in life, you're going to, at some point, unless you're incredibly rich, you're going to own a house or apartment or something where you're going to have to work on things with your hands. You can't always hire somebody to do it, and this will give you the ability to, uh, to, to have the confidence to go in there and work a little bit. Engineering is fun to teach because I help students understand other people, understand what other people want and need, and help them solve those problems. So engineering is more about helping other people to understand people and solve their problems than it is about applying science or math. Yes, we do apply science and math, but really when you get down to it, what makes engineering different from science and math is that you have to understand other people and what they want and need. It's very hands-on, and so the math, the engineering, the math and the science that we learn in other classes, we get to use those principles in a hands-on thing and build things like roller coasters and um, ballistic devices and other things to actually see how um, the laws work.